Hi guys, it's me Adana again. Every time you see me here in the Eater Food Kitchen, you know why. Because we're doing something plant-based, we're doing something vegetarian, and we're doing something idle. So this round, it's Christmas, and we have a Veggie Bites Christmas platter to show you all here today. Something for the vegetarians in your life. It's Christmas. We need something to eat too. You know, we could have the meat for the meat lovers, but we need a little Christmas platter for us. Something to make us feel special on the Christmas day. Yeah, so we're gonna get into it. We're gonna enjoy the flavors of Christmas and we're going to do something a little different with the products and enjoy and create something with love for our vegetarians. It's going to be a layered type of platter. So we're going to have a nice creamy base. We're going to have some roasted veg. We're going to include the veggie bites here and we're going to have a nice sweet sorrel drizzle topped off with some toasted sliced almonds and a little side so we're gonna have a multiple layers multiple textures multiple flavors so we're cutting up the melon gen the bygun what does this call it the aubergine we have our bowl to put the um the chopped veg into so we're just again chopping it trying to keep everything the same size we came up with Adiana Foods. This is the brand here, Adiana Foods, in 2015. I turned plant-based, vegetarian. It was actually after fasting for crisp for Easter, after Lent, well, for Lent. And I just never started back eating meat after that. So after all your life eating meat, you still want a little flavor in your food, but you realize vegetarian people kind of be on the outskirts. We're not getting the flavor, we're not getting the vibe of the food like you would be accustomed to. So it was a family line and I actually came up that with, with the first product. We came up with the Chana Burger Party. And that it was from the Chana Burger Party that things started to progress in terms of products. This time we're going to elevate the Veggie Bites. Veggie Bites by itself are fantastic. Put it in a wrap, put it in a salad, easy to go, easy to eat. But for Christmas, we want something a little special. So we're going to layer it with some roasted veg that we see here with some flavors. I think the most interesting spice here you will see that we don't really use here in Trinidad and Tobago is the sumac. Well, outside of the Lebanese Syrian community. So it's a nice, I think I'll call it kind of tart, um, kind of tambourine. It's a different type of flavor, but it goes really well with roasted vegetables. I actually got that trick from Baidawi himself. I tried some roasted veg from him and his secret ingredient was sumac and it was so delicious. So, so I'm throwing some sumac here for Christmas. Let's elevate the veggie bites a little bit, even though, as I said, it's, it's great by itself. But for a Christmas platter, we want something special because we vegetarians, vegans, plant-based persons, we want to feel special too. So now we're going to season our veggies. So I have a nice mix of spices here, a nice mix of flavors. So we're gonna start seasoning. The Adiana journey has been a mix of feelings, a mix of experiences because we actually started after we developed the products at home and we decided, hey, we could do something with this. The first thing we actually started to do was pop-up shops. 
and it neat. There was a bit of a, it was an earthy kind of pop-up shop. So you had some people of the Rastafarian background that really enjoyed having something vegetarian and having something vegetarian that actually tastes good as an option in a pop-up shop. So that's how we started. That's, that was the start of our journey. Every time we drop off the product at a retailer or at the grocery, the first thing they ask is, is this a local product? And that's kind of the level we wanted. We wanted to have a packaging and the product that could match and surpass that of the foreign market. We have the spices and we added the oil. We mix in the veggies. I find it's looking real nice, colorful. So the next step with this is to put it on our baking tray and again, put it into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes until the edges are nice and brown. So we have our veggies ready on the tray. We're gonna put it into the oven, 400 degrees again, 30 to 35 minutes. At about the 20 minute mark, we're gonna open the oven, mix it, because we want to ensure we have an even roast on the veg. So now we're just gonna put it into the oven and start the next step. We're doing the sorrel drizzle to top off the platter at the end. So this is going to be the sweet element of the, um, of the platter. So we spoke previously that it's going to be multi-flavored, multi-layered, and multi-textured. So we have our sorrel, homemade sorrel. Take the sorrel that you made for Christmas, that you're going to make for Christmas, and sweeten it. You sweeten it a little extra, and we're going to add it to a saucepan. So we would have made the sorrel with the usual suspects in terms of the bay leaf and the clove and the cinnamon stick. We're gonna add our bay leaf. We're going to add our cinnamon stick and about three cloves. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna stir it to ensure that the sugar dissolves and we want it to reduce for about 15 minutes at a medium to high boil. We love to feed people, but we want things to taste good too. So we're not just going to slap dash the ingredients together. Because it's me and mommy, if all you remember Birdie from the um, the lentil pasta video. Making the products, ensuring that the quality is where we want it to be. To have a consistent flavor. And yeah, that makes us very different. It's very family owned. We are making it by hand, no machines. And again, the Trini flavor is exceptional. When you taste it, you'll be like, yeah, this is something I could eat on a regular basis. With the bites, just throw in a little sauce, bam, you're good to go. Put it in a wrap, you're good to go. This is kind of the consistency that we want it at because when it's cool, when it starts to cool down, it will thicken up a little more. Again, we are making a veggie bites, Christmas platter, with a yarn of foods and eat a food, yeah? So we're doing something a little nice, a little festive. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna turn off the sorrel reduction. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit because we don't want it to become like candy. You don't want it to become too thick. And we'll put it aside until we're ready for it at the end. So we have our veggie bites out of the package nice and room temperature. So if you have time to let it defrost, you take it out, you let it defrost until it becomes room temperature. If not, you could pop it into the microwave, nuke it for about 30 seconds until the ice is defrosted and it will be ready to fry, ready to fry in the oil or ready to fry in the air fryer or even bake. So we're just gonna test one. Yeah, man. Cooking with gas. Two, three, four, and five. So we just put in five. A pack of veggie bites comes with 10 bites. The pack of patties comes with four patties, and we have a dozen wontons. And we want to fry it for about five to six minutes until it becomes golden brown. Ooh. So the veggies are ready. They're smelling good. Let's turn off this heat like we know what we're doing. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
so the veg are nice and roasted. I like a little char on my edges. This is the color I wanted on the veg, a nice golden color. You got, you see the little crispiness on the edges here of the melon gen, the bygan, the aubergine, whatever you want to call it. And I think we can begin this toss the bites a little one more time and i think we can take these out look at how pretty look at these little nuggets look at the color very nice So I have Birdie here again. I have Mummy here. We're always in the kitchen together. We're in the kitchen together to do the Adriana Foods products. And we will be in the kitchen together for a long time. And we're here on Eater Food again. And we're going to do the hummus. Um, this is Birdie's specialty. So she will take us through the steps and how we start with the hummus. Okay, we're taking one tin of chickpea. Chana. Chana. You drain it and rinse it. You're putting it into a nice little blender. A nutri bullet. Yes, well, if you don't have a nutri bullet, just try it into a blender. blender, right? Half cup of olive oil. Could you? This, this is tahini. tahini. Now I know you're going to tell me that tahini is expensive, but there's a very inexpensive way to make it. You go to your favorite store, you buy a pound of sesame seeds, you slightly roast it, and you put it in a, a same nutri bullet. Add a little paprika and some olive oil and blend it until you get this consistency instead of buying the expensive, expensive product. Tahini. So you can make it this way. Yeah, mommy loves to make a tahini. Hold on. Mommy Rob is making something. Yeah, mommy making something long time. Right. Yeah. Okay. A half cup of tahini. What else? Next, we need three tablespoons of lemon juice. All right, lemon juice. So to avoid wastage, you squeeze your lemons, and you bottle it in your glass bottles, and you freeze it. Don't fill the bottle to the top. Don't fill the bottle to the top. Or else they'll, they'll crack when they ex expand. Now we're going to season it a little bit. What do you want? I'm using roasted garlic. If you use pure, the, the uncooked garlic, it gives it a kind of raw taste. So roast the garlic. And the roasted garlic brings out a nice little sweetness. It miles out the garlic, but you still get the garlic flavor. Right? Next we use a little cumin. So this is the cumin seeds, not the powder. Jira, cumin, same thing. A little back, a paprika. Earlier seasoning with the gods and the ancestors. I'm sorry. <laughs> a little thyme. And uh, a pimento. And this is the local twist, pimento. If you don't cook with pimento, I don't know if you really cook in Trinidad. You want to add the salt on time or not? I'll put a little salt and then you will taste it to tell me if, if it's, it's enough. enough. Right. So it's not a full thing. Because we did add salt to the veg. You want to balance all the salt. You don't want everything too salty. You want the red pepper flakes or no? Yeah, I'll leave the red pepper flakes. All right. Okay. And all you have to do is just blend. And just like that, you have hummus. Nice. Simple. Simple hummus. Simple hummus. Just like that. Hummus. This is Birdie's hummus. We have some chopped side to top it off. And of course, the star of the show, the Adiana Foods Veggie Bites. Oh, yes. So you see how it's chunky? Nice. So we add in our veg to the platter. Nice. So remember, we said layers of flavor, layers of texture. So this is the sorrel drizzle. They cool, they got nice and thick. Just taking it with the spoon and let it do its thing. 
one in nice red. And this is the crunch factor for the platter. I'm just going to add a nice green to freshen it up. I for sure want mushroom and I for sure want a bite. Ooh. Mm-hmm. You can eat lunch? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it isn't better than I expected. Good. Mm-hmm. Mm. expect it to take. Make bad tasting food. Huh? Nah, nah, nah. I expect it to take make bad tasting mm -hmm. food, but you know, gosh. When it lashing, it lashing. Huh? You all would love this. You only people that eat and meat. Like you can make this out of Christmas too. And go on um eat a food page and look for the Turkish bread recipe. Food. This and the Turkish bread. Ha. Ah. And the sweetness or the sorrow sauce. Oh, well. I'm busy eating, I'm sorry. I'm excited. Well, you could cook this on your husband and thing. This real vibes you. <laughs> yeah. These days, husbands have to come able to cook because the wives can't. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> so, some man and I'm still in town. Um, yeah, yeah. So you catch a wife too. Ay, ay, ay. Mm -hmm. Go on, get dressed to be. Go and make it. Put this on a Christmas um, table and people. You'll get some hugs and things. You'll get some love up. This is rather good. <laughs>